Hey everyone, I wanted to get on here today to talk a little bit about paying attention to your energy and where your energy goes and how you spend your energy throughout the day. So let's get to it. So when you're going about your day and you're doing the task and the different things that you want to get done throughout the day, uh, you're spending your energy on it. Everything you're doing is costing you like energy. You're using your energy to do different things. But you don't realize that a lot of times that your energy is being spent and used in different places. So like watching certain videos or, or thinking about certain things or even moving certain ways, you know, that is costing energy. And then, you know, people will say, oh, I'm too tired to be able to get this done or I wanted to get this done, but I just don't have the energy for it. Well, you have to take some time to actually sit there and realize, OK, where did my energy go today? What did I use my energy on in order to realize, OK, how can I better? utilize my energy in order to you know propel me forward and move me forward into the goals and things that I want to do in life you have to see that you no know, your energy can be drained and when I say drained I'm not saying in any type of malicious way I'm saying it can be drained by you using it in ways that are not going to be beneficial to you you're using your energy in ways that are not going to be able to produce the results that you want let's say for example you know a lot of people nowadays want to start their own business but they feel like they don't have the energy or time to do it but then if you look throughout the day and you see what you're actually spending your energy on you know you realize hey Maybe if I didn't do this, or maybe if I decided to do this a little bit differently, you'd be able to utilize your energy in a different way in order to actually make that business keep going. Or, you know, whatever you're trying to do. If you're trying to um, get a degree, if you're trying to you know, learn something new, if you're trying to fix your house, if you're trying to get a better job, like whatever you're trying to do, you know, you're going to need a certain amount of energy to be able to do that. So you have to watch, you know, what you're actually spending your energy on and where your energy is going and who are you spending your energy on and what you're spending your energy on in order to figure out exactly how best to utilize it in order to accomplish those goals and tasks that you have. So you have to really take some time. And this is where your meditation and different practices come into play of seeing what are you spending your time on? What are you spending your energy on? You know, because you spend your energy, you know, thinking about other people, thinking about different tasks, thinking about different things in life. And you have to be able to realize that, you know, sometimes when you're putting your energy towards these things, that it's not even going to help you, you know, further your goal. It's not going to help you get to where you're trying to go. So you have to be able to, you know, basically harness your energy to your full potential. And once you start harnessing your energy to your full potential, then you'll start seeing those results that you're looking for. Like, uh, for example, um, I've been trying to, you know, get myself up every morning. You no, know, I already get up in the, in the morning and get ready to go. But I've been trying to get up a little bit earlier and keep myself going. You no, know, and I realized that, you know, maybe if throughout the day I I didn't do certain things or I uh, took a few minutes out to not watch certain videos or something that, hey, that energy can be better spent in the morning, waking up, doing my morning affirmations, doing my morning yoga and getting myself going. So, you know, that's just something that I have done. You have to look at your practices and what you're doing and what you're thinking about and the things that you're spending your energy and time on in order to figure out, you know, what's going to work best for you. Because, again, this is all the individual experience that we have out here. Now, there's all these other beings out here with us. But, you know, say it's your individual experience. So you have to see what you are spending your energy on. Don't be worrying about what somebody else is doing or how they're doing. It. And you're like, oh, well, it's working for them. Well, they're not you. So you have to figure out what's going to work best for you. So everything I'm saying is always, you know, you know, to tailored toward how you're going to do your best life. How you're going to spend your energy the best. Because once you figure out, you know, how you do things, what works best for you, that's when you're going to start seeing those results. That's when you're going to start seeing, you know, the big changes in your life because you're not worrying about, you know, basically like the grass is greener on the other side or what somebody else is doing because what works for them might not work for you what works for you might not work for them so you have to be able to you know see that and actually embody that and work towards it in order to you know fulfill your goals and fulfill everything that you want in life so just take some time and really think about what you're using your energy for where your energy is going and how you are utilizing your energy because that's another thing you know once you start using your energy for different things then you can start thinking about okay not only am i using my energy for this but am i using it efficiently 
Am I utilizing it in the best way for what I want to use it for? So you have to think about all these things as you're going through your journey, as you're doing your practices is you no, know, not only what are you doing, but how are you doing it? Because these are some major questions that you have to ask yourself, you know, throughout your day as you're going through your stuff. It's like, how best can you utilize the energy that you have? How best can you utilize the tools that you've been given in order to better connect with yourself, better learn how to grow? How to better get yourself to the places you want to get to. And you can't do that without a certain amount of energy. And, you know, energy is, you know, never ending. There's an overflowing abundance of energy. But, you know, how are you going to tap in? How are you going to use it? How are you going to harness it? How are you going to utilize it? These are all the questions that you need to ask yourself. So, you know, take some time throughout the day and just ponder over these things and you might find something out.